President Trump is blasting this second caravan of migrants heading toward our border and says it's a big issue for Republicans heading into the midterms. The president tweeting, quote, hard to believe that with thousands of people from south of the border walking unimpended toward our country in the form of large caravans that the Democrats won't approve legislation that will allow laws for the protection of our country. Great midterm issue for Republicans. All right, let's bring in Tom Holman now, Fox News contributor, former acting ICE director, and he actually feels for the Border Patrol, as we do, who are being overwhelmed at the moment. Uh, first off, on this caravan, Tom, we're not waiting for the caravan. There's already a surge at the border. Yeah, the numbers are up on family units. And look, the president's 100% accurate on this. As the ICE director, I went to the Hill many times to talk to lawmakers about closing those loopholes. The, book, the biggest, two biggest loopholes is asylum threshold so low, you just got to say a couple of magic words that the criminal organization teach you to say, and, and, you, and you get into the United States and you get released from custody because of the second issue, the second loophole, is the Florida Settlement Agreement that we can't detain families for more than 20 days. That's not quick enough to see a judge. So there's no consequence, there's no deterrence, you're going to get in, you're going to get released, never to show up in court. Why would they stop coming? Why don't and we have enough judges? Why can't we bring more judges down there or hire more? Well, I think, I think EOIR is hiring a lot of judges. This, this issue, this caravan issue, lays at the feet of the Democratic Party up on the Hill. I, like I said, they've, they've been educated what these loopholes are, but they don't want to close the loopholes. They want this president to have, have a fail on this issue. But I hope the American people are paying attention because this isn't the president's failure. This isn't the secretary's failure. This is the Democrats' failure because they know the issue and they refuse to fix it. They're well, putting their political ambitions ahead of public safety, national security, and border control. Simple as that. Well, you know, Tom, it was back in April there was the other caravan that got so much notice, and President Trump threatened those nations, Honduras and uh, Guatemala and Mexico, and said, you know, if you don't help us enforce your own border and they wind up here, we're going to cut off the aid. It, he never really followed through on that, and now those people, the pe some of the people, wound up eventually getting to the border and seeking asylum. We don't know what's happened to them. But we, we're at the same place right now. We're depending on Mexico to actually enforce their southern border, and they say, okay, we're not going to let anybody across without a passport. None of these people have passports. Right. You know, the law is clear that in Mexico that, you know, people from Central America cannot transit through Mexico without what we call a transit visa. So Mexico can stop these people at the southern border and turn them around or let them apply for asylum in Mexico. See, here's, here's the thing no one's talking about. If these people are really escaping fear and persecution in Honduras, mm -hmm. well, they already went to Guatemala, they're getting to Mexico, so they don't need to get to the United States. So this isn't really about escaping fear and persecution. This is about getting to the United States and taking advantage of the loopholes in the system. And, and let me add one more thing. If you look at the, the numbers on uh, the families that are claiming fear and persecution, 80% of them, 8 out of the 10, lose their cases when they finally get to immigration court. Right this now, is fraud. This is, this is just frivolous fraud. Because the word is out, the catch and release is still there. Despite the president's push, they're getting ankle bracelets and they're being let out into the country. That's what the whole uh, separation of families, which was poorly executed and introduced, was supposed to be about, a deterrent. It wasn't to break up families. It's to let them know that's not the way to get here. Mexico is avowing a stiff response. We're seeing that they dispatched two 727 Boeing planes filled with federal officers to their borders. Do you believe this administration, the new one, is determined to keep relations with us strong by showing strength at their border when they busted Guatemala's border? Look, President Trump's a warrior when it comes to border security and, and immigration enforcement. We, we couldn't have a better president than we have right now. This man has the backs of the border patrol and ICE. This man believes in border security. And that's why everybody, regardless of Republican, Democrat, there's no downside in securing the border. But no, I, I should be clear, Tom. I want to know if Mexico is going to reinforce their border so they don't get to our border. I think Mexico will help. I, I really do. But again, when you talk about the catch and release, Brian, this is another, this is another failure of Congress that no one's talking about. ICE justified the need for 51,000 beds, funding for 51,000. Congress wants to give them 40,000. So people are being released because Congress hasn't been prop uh, I mean, ICE hasn't been properly funded either. Another failure. But let me talk about the zero tolerance policy. That was the right thing to do. Regardless how sad and unfortunate it is, no one wants to see families separated. But when they separated those people that were prosecuted and entered the country illegally, the numbers went down 22% in just two weeks. If they would have stuck with that for 30, 60 days, there wouldn't be a caravan today. Well, uh, Newt Gingrich said last night the midterms come down to Kavanaugh and caravan. Let's see. Tom, thank you very Thanks, much Tom. for joining us live.